Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Okay, I wasn't planning on filming anything this morning but I was in the children's bathroom just giving it a bit of a clean down and I realized that there's so many Kmart things in there that I'd like to show you. So I've done a quick video on the 12 things that I have purchased from Kmart that I love in the children's bathroom. So while I was in there I decided to put my new Kmart containers in that I have bought a few weeks ago that I hadn't actually put in there yet. So I quickly swapped over the old containers for the new containers so I'll show you that. I didn't need to do any decluttering because I've done that job and it's working brilliantly. Minimalism in there is working brilliantly. I'm so happy with how it's going for the children. So if you want to see how our bathrooms are operating, our children's or the family bathroom, then oh, excuse how scruffy I look because I'm just homeschooling this morning doing business admin and cleaning at the same time. So this is the bit about as good as it gets. And I've got my comfy jersey on too. So I did say to you that if I do a video every day, I'll just sometimes just turn up looking like how it is. So if you want to see this video, then let's do this. Okay, the children's bathroom. So here we are underneath the sink. So this is our current system. Uh, it's a little bit messy because I haven't done it for a little while, but everything was decluttered not that long ago. So now it's just a matter of tidying it back up because it's a bit untidy. And I'm going to replace these containers with some that I've been getting from Audi that I just think are going to be more durable for the needs under here. Uh, and here's the other cupboard that needs to be just tidied up as well. The systems are all seem to be working, but there's just been a few things thrown in, so I'll just fix those up. Okay, so let's see how I went in the bathroom. Okay, so this is looking way better. I really like these containers. Ideally, I think I'd like to have these and these matching, but I only had four of these and I had three of these, so I had to just sort of make it work and I think it's fine. Um, right, so what have I ended up with? So in the top one here, I've ended up with everything for the girls everything for the boys so that just includes deodorant um, face creams hair gels and that type of thing this is nail polish remover there's um, there's a hair mask there's moisturizing cream there's just all the all the bits and bobs that Jessica would use all the bits and bobs that boys would use including the refills for their razors so this one's more just generic. It's like got things like Vix and Vaseline, pore pore cream, that type of thing. Coming down here, I've got an empty container. So um, once I do the children's bedrooms, I'm pretty sure I'll find things in there that could probably live in the bathroom instead. So I've got an empty container. The next one down is, I'm gonna have to label these, uh, bandages. Um, things like waterproof bandages, plasters that type of thing hair brushes i've kept in one of the original containers because i like it because it's open lying flat this one has what's that one I got that oh this one has um like knee bandages ankle bandages wrist bandages that type of thing for sport and this one is nail polish all the nail polishes it's really cool so these have all got their lids on these ones have lids, but I haven't put the lids on, uh, so they're just sitting like that. I would really like now some white containers for this job, but at the moment we'll just stick with the ones we've got. So this is plastic bags, plasters, hair ties, and cotton buds and cotton wool. So those are there. So this is not needed to be updated, but I think I'd like to update this so everything's white. So I just need to label everything, really happy with everything. When I went through and did this, it's all decluttered, so it was super easy. I just had a few empty packages and stuff that the children had left. Okay, and the other cupboard is at the back, there's my curling sticks. Then there's a the children's hairdryer here and the hair cutting set. A couple of spare boxes of tissues and plastic bags for the rubbish bin. And down the bottom is just the makeup bags and overnight toiletry bags and that type of thing. And then I've got a first aid kit and this is a cupping set. 
so that's lives down there okay so let me show you now what was purchased from Kmart so number one is this lazy Susan that we use this just has all the things that the children are using pretty much every day so we've got some hair gel we've got witch hazel toner some detangling spray boys and girls deodorant some sunscreen for Jess 30 plus sunscreen mascara for Jess Jess doesn't really wear, she's got her own makeup but she doesn't really wear much makeup if day to day she would at best put on mascara but usually nothing and some modeling wax and some cleansing water and there's a little plant there then there's a couple of perfumes that Jess uses then I have this problem here which I've just got to deal with which is I usually just get some bleach and put it along there to fix that make it white again this here is a set that I bought from Kmart I think maybe the end of last year this is working really really well I really love this set I love it because of the wood because um, we have wood over there so I love the wood sort of look and the white so this has got the toothpaste children's toothbrushes and dental floss here hand wash there on the little tray so that's perfect and in fact I've just done an extra clean on this bathroom so that would probably make more sense to do that okay so what are we looking at so we've got one one I mean some of these things are purchased from uh, this was purchased from Kmart so I can count that so one two this was as well three we'll call this one thing four okay this trolley here was purchased from Kmart so that could be number five number six is this container which has got cotton buds in it uh, six down here Dr. Teal's seven though this set here behind I bought from different ones I bought from TK Maxx but this one I've got from Kmart so what was up to six seven and this I bought from Kmart these charcoal stones so it's eight these I bought from Kmart so the bath bombs I'll call that nine and there's ones back here too so the bath fizzes and this little little container full of little mini bath bombs so that was all purchased from Kmart okay it's just do a little count so that's nine okay what else Along the windowsill here, and I've lit them so you can see them all lit nicely, is these candles. So that's 10. Love these candles. Another candle here, which is the Indulge candle from Kmart. So that's 11. And 12 is the Pink Helene Rock candle. So that's 12 is the toilet roll holder so that's actually 13 but we'll go with 12 but that's actually 13. Uh, quite possibly this rubbish bin was also from Kmart but I really can't remember because I've had it for quite a few years now but there's a big chance it was from Kmart as well. So all in all that's our bathroom at the moment. Really happy with how the children's bathroom is looking and operating with our Kmart purchases. And now also that the decluttering has worked and we've been able to keep it clean which is great so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i look forward to seeing you on the next video see ya bye now that I'm